Health experts are lining up to slam the coalition government's plan to scrap our smoke-free goal, saying thousands more people will die, which will end up costing more. They're also warning the plan to rely on smokers to fund tax cuts is damaging our international reputation. Here's political reporter Amelia Wade. To say the health sector is horrified is an understatement. Incredibly shocked and embarrassed for New Zealand. So respiratory clinicians uh, across New Zealand was, was that we were appalled. Absolutely jaw-dropping, honestly. I was horrified. Um, I don't think we saw this coming. The new government's decision to scrap the plan to reduce the number of cigarette retailers, cut the level of nicotine in cigarettes and scrap the world-first smoke-free generation, one of the biggest surprises in the coalition agreements. All three parties had issues with the measures that were passed uh, before the election. Some online have not been kind, labelling the health minister Shane Cigaretti and the finance minister Nicotine Willis. Nicola Willis says more people smoking will help pay for her tax cuts. With about a billion dollars uh, there. And I think to, to have that in one sentence that we're going to actually um, collect revenue from excise tax from a product known to kill people um, is just a ludicrous statement to make. It's also expensive in the long run because even though keeping Kiwi smoking would top up the government coffers by a billion dollars over three years, Treasury estimated the smoke-free changes about to be turfed would have saved 580,000 health-adjusted life years because more Kiwis would have lived longer, which would have cut public health costs by 5.2 billion and added 5.8 billion in productivity benefits in the coming decades because there will be more people working and fewer people getting sick and dying. You know, I don't buy the logic that if the government doesn't do something and people make choices, the government is responsible uh, for those choices. The government is responsible for our international reputation. So it's affecting our international reputation as well. And the coalition stubbing out our smoke-free measures has made headlines from the UK to Australia to the United States. Other people are looking at us and are scratching their heads about why why this is going ahead. New South Wales to speak to both the health and the finance ministers, but we're sent off to New Zealand first and those requests were simply ignored as were repeated attempts with National. This may not be National's policy, but they are now responsible for it and won't be able to ignore a furious health sector for long. Amelia Wade, News Up.